absolutely great to be back here and the sun's out and everyone's having a great time. Congratulations, how was that for you? Big bike win on a, on a on a road circuit, so ever since I was a little girl or princess, uh, I've always dreamt of this moment. You like the dog. Meanwhile, here goes Herbertson. Can he use his braking technique to retake the lead on Sweeney? Here he goes up the inside. It's going to be Herbertson, but can he turn it in time? He can. So Herbertson gets it this time. Sweeney just doesn't seem to have the braking that Herbertson has. Back on the power again. Sweeney much closer this time than he was to Dominic Herbertson. But maybe whatever the issue is, they've sorted it and made the bike a little bit better. What we did see in the Supersport race, of course, was that uh, Herbertson was a demon on the brakes, but uh, Herbertson, uh, Sweeney, oh, a mistake from Herbertson, and Sweeney goes through. Just as I said, how good Herbertson's been on the brakes, just overcooked it slightly, maybe left it a little bit too late, and Sweeney goes through, a little wiggle from Herbertson on the run down to McAdoo. Barry Davison, as I said, 104 race wins on the roads for him, looking to make it 105 in the Super Sport 300 class. start by the German rider. Awful one for Michael Sweeney, he's really been swallowed up, just didn't get away. Sweeney, who won this race two years ago, a little bit of a mare, it has to be said, going into Gordon, still leads. Michael Sweeney also as well, not the best of starts for him. He's got riders to get past if he's going to try and take advantage. Oh, and here he goes. Michael Sweeney is the man to keep an eye on. Really, really bogged it down from the start. Left himself a lot of work to do, but it's Gareth Arnold who leads just... And here comes Michael Sweeney, and he may just get a wheel and head. In fact, he has. In fact, he hasn't, but he has now. He was two hundredths of a second behind Gareth Arnold as he crossed the line, as Arnold goes back in front again. Sweeney taking the lead momentarily. We have got a fight on our hands, folks. As Sweeney goes past, Sweeney takes it from Gareth Arnold at the jump. Incredible, a great move, we don't see too many of them. Down on their side by side, Garn is going for it. Garn is going for it, but no, they stay exactly the same, do they? No change in position, Garn has a go as they exit. Gordon, and he just elbows rub. Oh, and he's got him, so a change for third place as they go around McAdoo, Garn ahead of Cleary. Really enjoyed that. Um... Herbertson already pulling away from Michael Sweeney. We're riding with Richard Charlton, bike 42. And just outside the top 10. In fact, it's 10th position that they're battling for. Charlton just trying to show a front wheel to Horan, but not quite able to do so. Campbell just up the inside of Whitehall. Close between the two of them. On board with Charlton, trying to get on the power as the front wheel goes light. It looks like Charlton may get him, but it's all about the brakes. And 
that's why this man keeps hitting those 124s. Well, this is the moment. You see those white lines across the row, they use as markers, and Davidson just left it a fraction too late. And goes a past Sweeney to take the lead, and he's through again. So Herbertson takes the lead, or does he? No, he's back to second, he's overcooked it once again. An even bigger mistake this time. But maybe just carried a little bit too much momentum in getting past Sweeney. Sweeney as he gets on the power, looking to slipstream his way past Herbertson. Here he goes, drawing up alongside. It's Yamaha versus Yamaha. But it's Herbertson on the brakes, who just holds it a little bit longer. Sweeps across the nose of Michael Sweeney. Here he goes again, he's not close enough, but he might just do it on the brakes. So this time, now that Herbertson is ahead of Sweeney, in a day at the Cookstown 100, this is it. Is he close enough, Sweeney? He isn't. Herbertson giving him no room. Sweeney's got to really get on the power now as they come down for the final time. And I don't think he's going to be close enough. It's going to be a win for Dominic Herbertson, it is. But will Sweeney dive up the inside? No, he has to hold him. Herbertson's got the line. But Herbertson with a great move. Time that to perfection. Just when it looked like he'd left it a little bit too late. Swooped past. Hooks down 100. He takes the win. You don't get any better than that. Yeah, it's nice to be back. <laughs> Lapping them spades and back on the podium.